Mr. Harless, do you think you're going to get away with this shit? Get away with what? Why am I even here? Miller, do you hear this shit? Yeah, I hear it. Shit. <laughs> Trying to be all hard. I don't know why I'm here for. <laughs> Bull. Shit. <laughs> you don't. Listen, Mr. Harless, just tell us what happened last night. Talking about, I was at work, went to the gym. Man, I didn't do nothing. I had a meeting. I mean, what are you talking about? Why am I here? No. Listen, listen, Greg. Lying is not going to get you anywhere. We can't help you if you lie. Just you know, tell us the truth. Paint that picture. You really do. You need to paint that picture and tell us the truth. We know that your mistress was going to out you to your wife. Mistress? Your mistress. I have a mistress. Man, I got a wife, man. Really? Seriously? I mean, will you relax? It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna take care of this. I promise. I have been waiting for two years for this. When is it gonna end? <sighs> Look. Relax. Listen to me. I have to prove her infidelity. I mean, I told you, I'm not gonna leave this marriage with nothing. It's over between me and Felicia. I know what I'm doing. And I found the perfect idiot. I promise. Greg, lying is not gonna get you anywhere. We can't help you if you lie. Just, you know, tell us the truth. The truth about what? I told you. Where I was, what I was doing, what am I here for? Man, like I said, bro, tell us the truth and let us know what we need to know. I know what you're asking for. Listen. Had a problem, miss. I've never been monogamous. I tried it with a few chickens that didn't get <laughs> the honestness. Yeah. But you know how pretty people sometimes tend to cloud your common sense. It's never love, it's lust, it wears off just like intoxicant. Soon as you sober, you know it's over. But sometimes you stick around. Oh, what's going on, Roger? Hey, what's up, Greg? Man, you already know it, man. I know what you've been putting in that time, man. Yeah, you know, been in here working out, man. I got a release. Everyday stress of life, man. Man, stress, man. Yeah, that's what they all think, man. You know. Yeah. But uh, say, man, I've been there. I'll get, come get your number after I get the change and everything. All right. Okay. Well, I'm about to hit the bathroom, man. I'm gonna go in there, man. Okay. Say that, bro. All right. You already know it, man. Whew. I'm telling you, man. Still never know what's going on out this man. You already know. That jump is crazy, man. Oh man. Hey, six horsepower, man. I mean, turbo boost. You know, you know what they say, man. Working for yourself is 80 hours of work. You know, they never eat. Right, man, I'm gonna get up out here and get these iron in. What's up, man? Yeah, yourself though. Yeah, yeah. Now, me, holla man. at me, man. All right, I'm about right. to look into that navigator. Man, do that, do that. All right, go. On. Listen, we can't help you if you don't tell us the truth. You I have to tell the truth. I don't know why I'm here. Take a look at this, Mr. Harless. I know her. I mean, who don't know her? They own a the franchise. They got money, of course. 
So you don't want to continue to reap the benefits of your mistress? Man, <laughs> listen, man, I know who she is, but I don't need her money. Me and my family straight. We good. But she bought you things that your wife couldn't, right? Huh. Did she give you money to buy things for your wife? Huh. Listen. What the hell are these? These are, these are not mine. Nope. <laughs> don't panic. It's okay, don't panic. It's all right. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. ah! Whose Who's are these? <laughs> Locked up, Mr. Harless. You have an alibi? Give it to us now. When I was at work. I was at a meeting. <laughs> at a meeting. Do you have anybody who can confirm that meeting? Well, of course. My wife. We made love last night. Your wife? The same wife you cheated on? The same wife you lied to? To sleep with your mistress? That wife? The pictures don't lie. We know you're guilty. I just simply returned a favor, man. I gave her a gift. A spontaneous gift, that was it. Why would you do that? Yeah, why would another man ask you to give his wife gifts? Because he wanted to be spontaneous, just like I said. Listen, we've talked to Roger. Roger? He probably could have set me up. And his alibi checks out. He's really shaken up. His wife is murdered. And he finds out she's having an affair? Just not a good day. That's what you wanted. No, no, it's not. Not like this. I didn't want it like this. I wanted her money, not her life. Now we have both. We have both now. You just, you just don't get it, do you? Please don't do this to me, Roger. Don't do this. My wife was murdered last night. Murdered! I mean, do you understand that? On, yes, but... No, I never meant to hurt you or make you feel neglected, but... Did you kill her? I also know that my life is kind of hectic. I mean, he and I was somewhat other. I know you ain't gonna ask me that. Then what's the problem? We have all her money now. All that horse money. We can sell the house and have even more than that. Four? Yes. Get out. Yes. If I can't have you, then no one's gonna have you. Gotta understand, I'm a man that takes mistakes. I'm hoping to have you. Don't do this to me, Roger. No, no, it's not over. Don't do this to me. As soon as I met you, when it's over, then you wait years to get you. When I got you, I and Miss Miller, we're gonna have to let him go. Let him go. Yes, what reason would that be? She wasn't shy. He's guilty, I know. Oh, you seem to want to 
want him the most. Check it. Told me you'd be there, no matter what happened. But then he turned around and stabbed me in my back right when he knew I was down and hurting and needed your support. But he left me all by my lonesome to hold the fort. Then again, he seemed to forget that I'm a strong one. I picked the wrong one because he didn't really have a nigga's back in the long run. Now he cut me deep. I'm